See, they have this kind of sponge which helps you to pet everything. No. Hi everybody. As you all know, Singapore is a really hot place and a really humid place. And a lot of us have oily skin and therefore our foundation tends to rub off very easily and it tends to go away very easily. So if today you want to learn how to make your foundation last as long as it really can, watch this video because I'm going to share some tips on how I make my foundation last the whole day. In the past, I was just like you by like end of my work day, which is like maybe 6 p.m. It's all gone. Concealer's gone too. Everything's gone. If you were to put in a little bit more effort in the morning, you are going to get a really long lasting foundation. I mean the truth is, sometimes I'm still lazy in the morning and therefore I don't really have my foundation last the whole day because I'm lazy but when I'm not, it lasts a really long time. Today I'm just going to do my face makeup which is my base makeup only just to show you guys how to make the foundation last all day. So by the end of this video, I'm going to be looking like a ghost. But you can watch all my other videos on how to add color to your face. And yeah. So I'm using the Pore Fashional Primer. So this is the Pore Fashional Primer from Benefit. And the reason why I'm using this is because your girl's pores are just crazy and horrific. So that's why I use this. So this is not considered in my step on how to get foundation to last longer. So I'm gonna dab it at places where my pores are crazy. Now we move on to the real steps on how to make your foundation last longer. So of course, you need a foundation. I'm using the Etude House Double Lasting Foundation. So please choose a foundation that's suitable for your skin. If you're oily skin, use a foundation that is either oil-free or matte finish to make you feel more comfortable. And don't forget to moisturize in the morning as well. When your face is dehydrated, your brain tells your skin to moisturize by producing more oils. So we want to avoid that because oils make your foundation rub off very easily and it goes away very easily, okay? You need one more thing which is your makeup setting spray. The makeup setting spray that I'm using today is this one by Makeup Forever. It's called Mist and Fix. So you can try the Urban Decay one as well which is like famous for their makeup setting sprays. So you can use that as well or you can use this. This is also quite a good option. What you want to do is to spray on your hands, okay? Or any mixing palette or whatever. Okay, so spray four sprays and you have a little puddle going on. Then take your foundation and pump that in. Then what you need to do is to take a cotton bud and mix it in and now you have a very long lasting foundation now you take your mode of application it can be a sponge it can be a brush whatever load it up and tap it on the back of your hand so that you remove all the excess and go on your face If you want more coverage, feel free to pump more foundation into your hand and mix it together. But this is basically the greatest trick ever. Who says that makeup setting spray is only at the end? No, you can use it any time of the day, okay? So after that, just put concealer as per normal. How like you would normally put it. And then use your brush to blend it in. So remember to not put your concealer too close to your eyes because that's going to make you look really weird and not really nice. So the Americans like to put their concealers very close to their eyes because they put a lot of eyeshadow and they have like false eyelashes and everything to pull up this area. It will protrude this area of their eye, the upper area. And therefore, they put concealer closer to their eye to pop this up more as well. For us, we put very very natural makeup 
and therefore there's no need for us to put concealer too close to the eye we can go a little bit lower so that there's some definition and some shadows over here to make your whole face and your eye area look more natural if you're oily skin you have to powder and you have to powder even in the middle of the day i'm sure you guys are familiar with the word baking so a lot of americans use baking to keep their everything in place but this girl don't do that okay because baking makes everything look cakey for me i don't like it i am going to be very easy with you guys okay as easy as i am with myself because i'm a lazy bitch the most important message tip one for powder don't use compact powder compact powder kicks up your face very easily so compact powder normally comes with the sponge which you dab 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 and press 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 onto your face that makes your whole face cakey and it just adds another layer of foundation and another layer of like thick powder that you don't need use loose powder and a brush keyword dust okay not pack your face your face is packed enough open it up See, they have this kind of sponge which helps you to pat everything. No, use your brush and load it up again. And you tap off the excess. And all you need to do is just dust. Dust like a fairy, very lightly. Oh. Moving on to your last step, your beloved makeup spray again and spray all over your face, okay? Don't worry about this sticking onto the powder because that is what it's supposed to do. What you need to remember is wait for it to dry before you put anything else. You can use a fan or whatever. Let me get my fan. Where's my fan? Fan? So spray your face with a generous amount. Face mist normally tastes so shitty. I mean, it's like almost a hundred percent chance that it's gonna land on your lips, right? And you're gonna taste it. I don't understand why nobody has come up with like makeup spray that tastes good. I don't understand. Fanny, until it's fully dry, you have a very great face for the humid weather in Asia because we are Asian. Whoa! So as you can tell, my face is not very cakey. It's very natural. I didn't use a very thick layer of foundation as well. It's very light. Everything is just very light touch. One last bonus tip. Okay, this is the stupidest bonus tip, but the most common sensical bonus tip. Okay, don't touch your face. As simple as that. The whole day, try not to touch your face. Okay, if your face is itchy, Tap it, don't scratch it. You scratch it, everything's gonna come off, okay? So don't do that. That's the reason why everything falls off by the end of the day because you touch your face and all your foundation is on your hands instead. So that's all I have today. If you are new to my channel and haven't subscribed and you found this video useful, please subscribe and I'll appreciate it a lot. So thank you guys so much for hanging out and watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!